Yo, this is Saladin Salam from Kane Corsos Historical Talk. Yo, tonight I want to give a um, just want to get a little few things off my chest. You know, about the historical former. First of all, uh, a lot of you breeders been going behind my back. You kind of been talking and saying to other people that I'm a bad person. I'm going to just say this to you, is that, first of all, man, one, I don't get paid for this. The information is free. Two, I never jumped up and said I was an expert in the cleaning call. So, three, I reached out to you guys in the beginning, before Mike even be, got on the forum. I reached out. You guys never responded. So, I put my own spin to it. Basically, I come with information that's actual factual. It's not on the aspect of opinion. I show pictures. I try to show and prove of what I'm talking about, the topics, certain topics that happened in the past. It's some, sometimes it's speculation, but it's an educational speculation. You know, I'm hearing a lot of breeders talk about, listen, why is it important, or why... Do I go I go so hard on the aspect of the history aspect? Well, first of all, if you don't even know what the can call so is, how the hell are you reading them? That's number one. Number two is you have to get familiar with the bloodlines. You have to. You have to. Because a lot of cases, you guys jump up, you go get import dogs. The import dogs are mixed. They come, you come back with them, you breed them, and you sell them. And you're talking about their corsos, and they're actually not. They're mixed. Oh, uh, how can you say that? Well, first of all, our, our corsos are supposed to be rectangular. These import dogs are not even proportioned correctly. Now, they're changing in their head types. They're changing in their structure, temperament, temperament et cetera. The stuff is crazy. So when do we learn? And I mean, what I'm seeing, even with the ICCF, you guys are slowly but gradually moving away from the traditional dogs that Mike Satilli brought over. You know what? To me, that's a great deal of disrespect. If you don't believe me, I'm talking about you newbie people. What you do is there are dog magazines that go around, right? Monthly. The Dog USA is yearly. Try to get you some back issues of dog USAs. Get them from the 90s up to into to, to present day. Try to get you that whole situation. I think they might sell it. And I got to go check that out myself. But anyway, or dog worlds. See the old ads of the um, Connie Corso when they came here to America after the fact. Look how the dog has changed. Look how certain breeders that started off with the traditional dogs, the traditional dogs, right? And then all of a sudden swung to the left. So now you're telling everybody, like I said, I'm a threat that, you know, don't listen to Mike. I'm going to say this. Mike has showed pictures of him handling the dogs. I'm going to say it one more time. Mike Busatilli Jr. has shown pictures he got pictures with him, with Rocco, not with Rocco, with Kokomo. He got pictures of him with import dogs that they got. That they, um, Matter of fact, he's even in a documentary movie. So you're saying to me that this guy was, you know, with Italian families. A lot of Italian families are close-knitted. So therefore, that he didn't know what was going on in his own father's yard. And his father raised him to be a dog man since he was a kid. So I'm going to believe you, right? Right. Okay. Like, no. Mm -mm. Because uh, where you getting your information from, you're, you're talking about, well, yo, this guy wasn't there. I was there. This and that and the third. I spoke to such and such. And I, I wish Mike Satilli Sr. was alive to this day. I wish he was, man. I really sincerely wish he was. Because right now, probably he's rolling over in his grave. Because he probably wouldn't even know to the extent that the breed has gone. You know, like you guys ran over there to Italy. 
you was gun ho and if you don't believe me, look at Belmonte's old ads in the 90s and look what Ed is saying about the Italian import dogs. And you guys still ran over there. You still brought dogs back. And these dogs were poor quality dogs. That box of stuff really popped off, popped off like in 2000. That's when a big wave came over. You guys went and got these dogs. And then you sell these dogs to the public. And they're all over the place. You know, so now you got these hyper type dogs. And you got these newbie dudes thinking that they got something. And absolutely, you have nothing. You have some type of band dog cross. But like I said, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You try to slander Mike Satilli, you yo, like that is the most foulest thing that you can possibly do to a person. You're talking about he bred Rottweilers into the dogs. You, why the dogs got the pointed? So, like I said, my question was, well, how the hell did Plud get the pointed? So now all this information is coming out about the pointed dogs. And now, if you look, if you look at the old magazines, a fawn dog. There were plenty of fawn dogs without masks. Plenty of fawn dogs without masks that end up being champions. So now, all of a sudden, we come up with a rule because the Italians are doing it. So we're going to do it too. We're going to uh, we're going to change it up, and uh, the dog has to have a black mask. Yo, you dudes are idiots, man. You morons. Like on some real stuff, man. Like when do we stop, man? But it's okay for the hyper type dogs to get papers though. But the dogs. That uh, funny color, you can't show them. But you can show the hypertype. Yo, that's some real hypocritical stuff. Oh, but yo, the American dogs will cross here too. Yo, I'm going to say this. And this is going to you know who. I'm going to say this to you. Like, yo, you're saying that the imported dogs that were brought over, that they had the box of influence, so the American dogs and these dogs are the one of the same. They're not. If you look at them old ads, right? With them breeders, them breeders so hell of a dogs in black communities, in white communities. People bought them dogs before that import influ influx came in. So, like I was telling this individual, yo, you have American dogs, right? American bred dogs that has very little boxer influence in them to maybe 80 to 75%. You know what I'm saying? It depends on how the dog was bred. A lot of people... Actually, with the 50 to 40 percent, you know, of import and then a little bit of the, you know, and that's your thing. That's your thing, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's not going to work, though. Bottom line to it. Oh, well, these guys are buying my dogs. It's working. It's working. Yeah, because they don't know no better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now, like I said, I'm telling you, it's a comment upon you to study, man, to study. Oh, you know, like I got to ask you another question. When did you start seeing really solid black corsos before Barsier? Think about that. Now, Barsier's relatives, I'm not talking about his dad. I'm going to say his grandfather and et cetera going back. Were or any of those dogs solid dogs or any of them dogs had his head type? So you mean to tell me that the mutt breeds that they had bred that fucking dog to bring forward? Like, excuse my language. You know what I'm saying? But to bring forward that dog, oh, yo, like, we, re you really that naive? Like, are, we, are you serious? Like, yo, man, come on, man. Like, like I said, at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I agree with that. We should move forward. But my thing is, like, yo, you still got American dogs out there? Show your dogs, yo. Show your dogs to the world. Be proud of your dog, yo. Be proud of his American stock. Be proud that it's coming out of the Super 6. Be proud of that, man. That's like a badge of honor. Like I said, at the end of the day, it's like a badge of honor. It is the better dog, in my opinion. In my opinion. I have my own preferences. You have yours. I'm not knocking yours. You ain't going to knock mine. Exactly. Like, that's how I'm going to give it up. And like I said, I don't get paid to do this. I don't have no, 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 no title or no... Or no, or no clout with the ICCF or any other club for that matter. I'm just an enthusiast. I really love the breed. And I would like to, it to say in its truest form, though. No. You know what I'm saying? And now, like I said, I got a beef. And I got a beef with the ICCF and a lot of other clubs. Like I said, at the end of the day, even with this color situation. 
yo, like, I could dig you saying no power ball. Cool. <laughs> I'm not mad with that. But those with white blazers on the face with the boots and et cetera, they should be allowed. Two, the dogs that's cream colored should be allowed. And the dogs with the points should be allowed. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you got other forums telling people they should spade their dogs because it's a blue and tan or it's, it's black and tan. Like, who the hell you think you are? Like, your dog ain't even all that. So you're going to tell me to spade my dog? Where does a four? There's a four. Man, shut up. Shut up. Like, at the end of the day, shut the hell up. Because, like I said, the person that brung them over here to the country firsthand, y'all should have kept his standard. You should have honored that person. So that lets me know, too, there's no honor among you dog breeders, man. There, there, there isn't, man. You talk a good talk, man. And then my thing is, like, why did you swing to the left? If you fell in love with the breed and the breed was what it was back then, why did you swing to the left? Let me ask that question. But it's all about, you know what I'm saying, preserving the the, the, the proper dogs, though, right? Yo, you dudes, you dudes and people are full of crap, yo. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, at the end of the day, I get no money for this. At the end of the day, no money, no, no type of glorification with that. I'm just giving my opinion. Like I said, my preference. That's it. I try to bring the facts. And yo, I'm going to tell you like this. The best person to get your information from is Mike Satilli, yo. On some real stuff. He was there. He bred the dogs. He's showing pictures that are not even circulating on the internet. How, how you like that? Oh, you can get these, these these pictures on the internet. Not the ones that he gave me, champ. I don't know what you know. Like, hey. So, at the end of the day, it is what it is. King Corso, historical talk, is not going off. I'm not twisting nobody's arm to stay on the forum. So, my thing to you is this. If you feel like leaving... I'm not twisting your arm, bounce, leave, do me a favor, you know what I'm saying, like on some real stuff, do me a favor, oh, well, I'm protecting the newbies, because the newbies don't know, and they need to know the proper information, man, the breeders wasn't even giving up the proper information, so what are you talking about, I mean, a lot of you people sound stupid, man, this is why I put the form out there in the first place, because proper information wasn't being shared, People were getting bashed. You know, I come up with a I come up with a different opinion. I got 80 people cramming down my throat thinking they know and they don't know nothing. You only been in the brief five or six years and you were an expert? Like, yo, knock it off, man. You wasn't there in the 90s. You wasn't there when these dogs came over. And a lot of y'all didn't even go to Italy yet. Because at the end of the day, too, if you saw how they kennels and all that stuff was set up over there, you'd be shocked. Talking about backyard breeders, like, yeah, right. Like, yo, man, come on, man. Y'all need to stop the bull crap, yo. Like on some real stuff. You need to stop. You need to stop. And you asking me, well, yo, well, how do you know how it is over there in Italy? You know, Saladin, you was never over there. Well, guess what? Dummies. I talk to a lot of breeders. I talk to a lot of enthusiasts. I talk to Navy and Army personnel that love the dog that's been across seas. So they saying the same thing as Mike is manifesting to me. So that means to me that that should be the truth. Like it or not, it is what it is. These people are still going back and forth over there to Italy. So like at the end of the day, whatever, whatever, you believe what you believe. I'm definitely going to believe what I'm going to believe. And I'm going to put it out there. Like it or not. Like I said, I'm not twisting nobody's arm to stay on the former. If you want to bounce, leave. How's that? All right, later.